In today's video, I'm going to show you a brand new Java UI texture pack that works for MCPE and comes with more features. The download can be found in the description down below, but without further ado, let's get started in today's amazing video. Alright guys, so we're going to be using the Java UI version 1.1 texture pack right over here. So they recently did update it and they basically made it incredibly detailed as well. Basically, this texture pack gives you the Java edition UI on MCPE right over here. So anyways, as you can tell, we are here in the home screen and everything is completely different. We have exactly what you would normally see for Minecraft Java Edition except this is on MCPE and the same applies to World and they did update it because back then it used to be like only the worlds that had the Java UI. Um, I did make a video about that one but now that there is a newer version they did update it and they made it so literally everything has the Java UI over here including the realms. So here is the realms tab section thingy-majiggy over here. We do get the Java UI over here and I just love it. We have the join round button and um, yeah this is really cool. We have like the invites over there and oh <laughs> that's the old UI and next up we actually have the Java UI for servers as well so this may look familiar for you I'm pretty sure you can go over here to featured servers and yep here we go we have Mineville we have Mineplex we have Lightboat, Cubecraft, The Hide and Galaxite all those other good stuff and over here is actually where you'll be able to add a friend you know in order to play with them and then you can type in their gaming tag and all that good stuff so yeah you'll notice that basically the entire UI is changed to fit you know Minecraft Java Edition it's literally identical Identical to Minecraft Java Edition, and I just think that is super duper cool. Um, they definitely did put a lot of effort into this, and uh, the UI is not the only thing that they did change. Um, whenever you create a world, look, even when you create a world, they completely change the UI over here. But anyways, we're gonna be creating a new world over here, and as you can tell, literally identical to Minecraft Java Edition, and I'm just gonna do that right over there. All right, bam, we are officially joining, and look, we even have the Java, um, you know, loading thing right over there, the Java loading screen, where it's basically like a square, and look, we even have the Java text, and what I mean by Java text is that the chat is actually in the bottom over here. So I'm gonna be typing something, and yo, okay, we have all this cool stuff. I did not expect this as well, but literally this new update comes with um you know more features than i ever expected and look if you press on this um you know up arrow it will basically um copy what we um you know type before and we could just do that over here so like we could literally spam if we wanted to like we could spam in the chat which is just hilarious i love that i love that to bits how um you know it's literally like job edition you know what i mean um you don't need like a keyboard or mouse in order to do that and i'm pretty sure like the uh our figure over here where my circle is i'm pretty sure they did move it closer to the um corner i'm not so sure if that's just me but without a doubt they definitely did change um you know the chat because it's normally not like this at all they even made it so the chat settings look identical to the java ui over here so yeah this one is much more detailed than any of the other java edition um text packs for mcpe without a doubt this one has to be the most detailed and i'm assuming that if we go to settings over here yep we even have more java ui over here we have achievement feedback options profile list players invite the game um Let's go to options over here and let's see if they actually do have it. And yo, take a look at this. We could change our FOV right over there, our profile, our video, our language, our texture packs, our audio, and a bunch of other controllers, uh, touch accessibility. And uh, what's over here on the side? Oh, this is cool. So this is how you change um, third person mode, I'm assuming. And uh, over here is like controls, which uh, is the bedrock UI, which is a little bit unfortunate. And over here we have our subscription thingamajiggy over there. I'm just gonna leave that over there. But yeah, as you can tell, you can even change difficulty over here and there's just so much other cool features that i did not expect from you know this java ui texture pack over here so this is definitely one of the best ones out there and look it is super easy to use and navigate i just love the ui it is literally identical to that of minecraft java edition but anyways i'm just gonna be going over here and let's actually take a look at some of the video settings because i don't think i showcased that off so yeah, we can actually change our graphics over here, our smooth lighting, our V-Sync, our view bobbing, our FOV, and rendering clouds, and all that good stuff that you normally could not do, but we can actually do it now, which is honestly super duper cool. I love this um, texture pack to bits. It definitely gets the job done, and is definitely one of the most useful texture packs out there. Okay, and this is how the achievements look like. I'm not too sure if this is unique to Java Edition, or if it's exactly like in Bedrock Edition. I really don't know, because there's certain things that I don't know until the profile is from Bedrock Edition. So yeah, obviously not everything is you know minecraft java edition ui however the majority of the ui definitely is you know copied from minecraft java edition and that's honestly pretty cool i absolutely love this texture pack to bits uh but anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video once again the downloads in the description down below please like comment subscribe see you later for tries